European Le Mans series, though, is go for another season. Season 20 of 2023 as 42 cars head for turn one. Marino Sato wasting absolutely no time at all in trying to get the nose of the United Order Sports 22 car down the inside of Rui Andrade and Kiffin Simpson by the looks of things. He's got to third position. Kiffin Simpson just ahead in the blue and dark grey of Algarve Pro Racing. Vlad Lomko, the 17-year-old. Oh, oh trouble. Carnage at the back. And that's the Wokenspiegel team. Monschau, Rinaldi car also off, his, off the road is the 72 Aston Martin, yeah, that's which has been TF started by Arnold Robin for yeah. TF Sports, Graham. That's turn three, and both cars off and not looking like they're going to be further. And if that car can't be moved under its own power from the middle of the circuit, there's almost inevitably... See, see what's happened here? Incident happened. It was already across the road and was collected. I think there's an impact as well with GMB Motorsport, Aston Martin. That car is going to be in trouble as well. And there's a third car in the dust as well. It's the 77. Christian Reed in car 77. There's the 44. Out Debut. of the race already. There's a spin for car 25 from the race lead. That's James Allen and he's caught in the gravel trap. Buries the throttle, but the car is beached on the edge of the asphalt. Having a collision with... I think Akari was trying to lap, and through will go Nico Pino in the green and black from Duquesne. The gap was 11 seconds. It's been wiped out to absolutely nothing now because Pino is your new race leader. Three cars, all as one going into turn number he four. Lost the ultimate car on the kerb, lost the rear end, and just clattered the 93. Martin Rump completely the innocent party there. So the 35 car caught out with Jean-Baptiste LaHaye. He mounted the kerb, rear end stepped out and clouted the rear end of the Porsche. And that's left the 93 car that was running in third position. As another car runs off track, and that is, which of the two cool racing cars is that? And also off the track, the 95. So it's all happening in that corner. I wonder if there's something down on track there. It is the black and orange flag confirmed. Race control for the 34 car, 26 minutes to go. And could this be a famous win for Duquesne team in dramatic circumstances? They've got 32 seconds. This is all about um, Racing Team Turkey have told Louis Delatraz, absolutely hammer this and try to give us enough time uh, to, to make the gap so that that change can be made. I don't think it can. Team manager, car 95, that is, uh, I'm sure, to do with the Ben Tuck uh, episode. We heard that that was under investigation, the clash with the 47 of Jose Maria Lopez. That uh, we still haven't heard the result of. All sorts of things could uh, here come we here. Go. This here is it. Here comes Louis Delatraz. Now he's got a minute's advantage over the second place car in Pro-Am, who is Ben Barnico, who's just charged his way by Jot von Outert into turn number 10. So the 34 on pit lane, the 30 is at turn 10. That is the second place car overall, calling it for the overall position. Turn 11 now and 12 for the number 30 car. You can do with seeing a shot of the work underway in the racing team Turkey car. Turn 13, turn 14. It's away already. So they've addressed the damage. New rear clip has been fitted. And Louis Delatraz careful not to breach the There's 60 the km per hour speed limit. Here we go. It's going to be an overall lead change, but not a class lead change. At the head of the order for Duquesne team in the green and black, but crucially for racing team Turkey, it looks like they are going to hang on to the LMP2 Pro-Am lead for the final 15 minutes. Delatraz thinking about a move around the outside at Repsol corner there. They're going to be two abreast coming out at turn it's number going to four. Go either side, there wasn't quite room. I think he was hoping the Ferrari would hold the line in the middle of the corner. No room there, but he's going to have a crack soon enough, isn't he? Neil Gianni tries to position the car to make it difficult through the next turn. Louis Delatraz goes to the, the inside, takes a position, brilliantly done. Holds the line, holds the curb, and he goes through back into the lead of the four hours of Barcelona and punching the air in the garage 
is Sally Yolich because he's saying that's my man and that's the position we deserve and Gilles Duquet not really sure what to think here because it's been a long time since Duquet last took a victory.